Pattaya or Phuket, it's, it has its own beauty, it has its own culture, but it's really like an international destination. There's more Farang than Thai people in Phuket or Pattaya, which is okay, but I'm in Thailand because I love Thai places and I love Thai culture and I like Thai people. So if I go to Phuket or Pattaya, I feel like I feel like I'm in Hawaii or Australia or California or anywhere, but it doesn't feel like my second home. It doesn't feel like Thailand. I don't learn about Thai culture or Thai-ness, Phuong Binh Thai, there. So for me, it's not the highlight. I have a travel business in Thailand, and there are there are protests and strikes in every country. In France, in Canada, in Australia, in Russia, in Thailand. And if you're traveling, if you're a tourist in Bangkok, you just have to do one thing, and that's avoid avoid where the protest sites are, avoid where the rally sites are. And I've been here during many, many protests and many, many uh, political situations, but if you live like a normal person and don't go get involved or participate in the political arena, then you're fine. You have nothing to worry about. And even though many people see the news on television and think that, oh no, Thailand is a very dangerous place, they have to remember there's Bangkok is a very big city and Thailand is a very, very big country. But what they see on the news is just one small corner. It does not represent all of Bangkok, and it does not represent all of Thailand. So come to Thailand, protests or no protests, your experience will be the same. Because Thai people everywhere are good people, and it's a great place to live. Thank you. Cup and cup.